Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2019 video tutorial. I want to do my advanced rim in AutoCAD. Looks really good. So, let's have fun with AutoCAD. Again, in order to save some time, I will reuse a sketch which I used for my simple rim. So let's zoom in a little bit so you could possibly see the dimensions. You could proceed with the same dimensions or you could use different ones. It doesn't really matter. After all, it's just an exercise. So let's hide the sketches and I will delete those dimensions because I don't need them and so bring back that sketch and I want to make a revolve and I need a surface so let's go to surface and maybe change the layer to, to a surface layer and I want to do a revolve and what should be revolved uh, sorry wrong this one should be revolved around this axis and of course 360 degrees. Maybe let's switch to shaded. Okay. So let's hide those surfaces. I will switch back to my sketches layer and hide that surface at least for the moment okay let's go back to our top view i need arcs and lines so let's start with a line and that line might start here maybe like this and that then add an arc so, which one to use? I will go for three points. Or maybe there should be a tangent one. So maybe use the tangent one, the continue one, yes. That's even better. And maybe end up here. Nice. I need another one on this side almost the same so let's go for another line and again continue it with an arc it's quite useful maybe like this now i want to rotate those two because those two should be paths for my sweeps and I will need another one on top there, so I could do that as well. So let's go for another line. Maybe, just maybe like this. Let's think, yeah, maybe like this. And again, go for continuous arc, and that arc might end over here. Great. Now let's change those arc and lines into polylines. So we'll go for P edit, P edit, select the line, yes, then join this one, right click enter repeat another enter select that line right click join this one enter enter and repeat select this one yes join that one enter enter 
let's take a look now I want to rotate this one in that direction so that we have 3D rotate I want to rotate that polyline right click base point should be 0, 0 and I want to rotate around the green axis it's this one and that might be minus 15 let's take a look yeah then go for another rotate select that object right click 0, zero is again the base point and the rotation axis would be then the green one and now it should be 15 degrees yes okay so for my sweeps I will need two arcs or one arc which I can reuse so I will go for a three-point arc and this might look something like this yeah maybe now I want to align those two points horizontal I could, could have used a line of course but that's also possible so go for a line horizontal and go for two points select this point and that point that's not necessary to use it for the sweep but I want it to be symmetric so if you now would use that arc with this one or that one it would make the wrong it would align it uh, it would turn it by 90 degrees so what I do I will turn that axis system so go there and turn that around the x-axis just return it will turn it by 90 degrees now the sweep usually aligns the object but now it will align it in the correct way so go for a surface go for a sweep select the object to sweep right click enter and then select the path see and it will put it here if you wouldn't have turned that it put it on that side great I can use the same one over here so let's see if it goes like this or like that we will see so go for another sweep and use this one right click enter right there great I could delete that arc at least I could hide that constraint I will need lines and surfaces to trim these so let's draw some lines on the right now XY plane so let's turn this okay I will need a line which goes from 0 0 in this direction maybe like that another one from 0 0 and length could be this one yeah but I need an arc so I will go for 300 and fifth, no, 30 degrees and another one from 0, 0 in that direction 300 and minus 30 degrees I need 
extrudes. Go for surface extrude. I want to extrude this one, this one, and that one. Right click and make it, let's say, 300 as well. And maybe change those. different layer maybe to that layer. Now I can trim those surfaces. So let's see, let's go for trim. I want to trim that surface and this surface. Right click and I want to use this surface, that surface and this surface as cutting tool. Right click and now I want to trim. I want to remove this side, yes. That side, yes. Suppose this one and of course that one. Let's take a look. This has to be removed and this has to be removed. Yep. Well, well. So, just in case I will need those, I will put this onto a different layer on this layer zero, so they're hidden. I know. Seems I've drawn something over here a while ago. Then I need a circle on the ground plane, which is XY, yeah, so go for a circle. Circle at zero, zero. And diameter might be, or well that's the radius, might be 50. Make an extrude. Make it 300. And now let's trim again. So put this again onto the orange layer. Let's trim. I want to trim this surface, that surface, right click with this one, right click and I want to remove that part and this part. And I have to trim it again with the hidden this one. So, trim once more. I want to trim this one, that one. Right click with this. Okay. So I have to select them all. Right click. This should be removed. That should be removed. That part as well. And maybe it would be good to join those. So let's go for a join, make a union, make a union with these. Right click, continue. So I have to retrim. Trim, not, yeah, trim. The surface trim, sorry, surface trim, trim this one, that one, not that one, but that surface. Right click, enter with this one, right click, this should be removed, that should be removed. Okay, 
nice I have to trim I want to use that surface so I will put this onto a different layer maybe on the green one as well and those two also on the green one okay now let's see I have to make this a little bit longer so let's move our axis system back to world I could hide this for the moment so put this one onto the zero layer I know and then I have to extend that curve here so select it and just move it up here let's take a look there I can trim bring back again the one from the zero layer this one put it back onto the green one and hide layer zero I should be able to trim I want to trim this surface right click enter with that one and this one right click I want to remove the inside this part yeah and let's see if we can remove this one yeah enter repeat trim this surface right click enter with that curve right click select this one to remove yeah of course you could trim this one again but yeah maybe I should therefore we need another line so go for a line L and let's try it maybe like this okay now I can trim that surface let's hide this one put this on to layer 0 I know and trim that surface right click with that line right click and remove the side great maybe I should hide for the moment my sketches so I've got three surfaces and I could move this one onto layer 0 for the moment and do a thickening but first I have to trim with another sketch on the XY plane so the XY plane has to be turned once more so let's hide those surfaces okay I need to rotate my axis system let's select it here and turn it around the x-axis by 90 degrees then I maybe should hide 
or I could even delete them because I don't need them anymore or I could put them onto the layer zero so let's select those yeah and put it onto the layer zero so they're hidden okay and this one and that one could be hidden as well deselect that one so this one and this this one and that one really kind of annoying so select it like that and put it onto the layer zero so they're out of harm's way still something small here again put it onto layer zero okay now i can draw i need 15 degree lines and that's 30 degrees and then i need yeah bisecting lines so i will make copy of that one go to rotate select this one right click specify the base point and turn it in that direction by 15 degrees but that's minus 15 degrees and I should have made a copy click base point is this one go for copy and minus 15 degrees then rotate once more you can use this one right click base point is zero, zero. make a copy and turn it by 15 degrees great so let's show the surfaces just for a moment to get some sort of orientation because it's hard to see okay so the circle would be on this one let's go for a circle put it nearest maybe here maybe like here yeah, 15 10 12 make it 12 and then I need a line which goes from that center up there then I want to rotate that line the small one this one by that point by 15 degrees rotate once more this one right click this point go for copy and turn it by minus 30 degrees then align to the nearest maybe here like that then rotate that line at that end point 15 degrees and again rotate this one right click there make a copy and turn it minus 30 degrees 
Now let's add a fillet over here. Go for a radius of let's say 15. Let's see how this will work out. Yeah, okay. And another fillet. Radius maybe 10. Up there. Okay. Now I want to make some extrudes, so go for surface, extrude, I want to extrude this, that, this one, those, enter and make it in that direction, maybe 300. And put those onto the orange layer. Then bring back our surfaces. And then I should be able to trim. But before that, I want to make two unions. So, union this surface, that one, and this one. Right click. Yeah, repeat the command, select those as well. Yes, now I could trim, so I will go for trim surface. Trim, I want to trim this surface, that surface with this one, that one, and this one. Remove this part, that part, and that small one here. Enter. Now, let's move these surfaces to our layer zero, so they're hidden. I could hide the sketches. So switch to the surface layer and hide the sketches as well. Now I can go for thicken. So go to solid, thicken this surface, the extrude, 3 millimeter. Repeat that command, select the surface once more. Enter minus three millimeter. Then repeat thicken on this one. Right click five millimeter, repeat the command, select that surface five millimeter. Now hide that surface on layer 0 and take care there are still two more so maybe I should put the solids onto a different layer maybe on the solid plus one yeah, so that the surface down below, yeah. Maybe if I go for realistic, it looks better. Yeah, much better. It's easier to see. So I want to make a union here. So make a union with those two. And now let's try. I could hide this one for the moment on my layer 0 as well because I want to shell those two so go for shell I want to shell that solid right here and I want to remove faces let's see if we can select the correct faces I want to remove the faces the face here above Yeah, it's selected. I want to remove this face. 
it's really hard to see that face this face this one and that one not necessary so maybe I could leave it so go for enter and make it two millimeter let's take a look looks pretty good yes now for that one Go for shell and select this solid. I want to remove that face, this face, this one, that one. Let's see if this works, and this one. And uh, two millimeter. Yeah, great. So let's hide those surfaces on layer zero as well. I bring back layer zero first and then hide it on layer zero. So I want to bring back this one. This should be on layer, on the surface layer. And there should be a body somewhere. That's the body. And move this on my solid plus layer. Then hide layer zero. Okay, let's thicken that surface. We'll switch to layer solid plus and go for thicken. Select that surface, right click, and go for 5 millimeter. Then go for another thicken. That surface, right click, minus 5 millimeter. And put this one so that's oh that's nice. I've got a green color on the <laughs> on this one. Yeah. Hide those on the zero. This should be on the blue layer. The other solid as well. And the surface which is here, I could hide on layer zero. So layer zero will be really crowded. Okay, I need a union between those two. So go for a union. Okay. Now let's add some fillets. So go for fillet. And I want to make fillets first on these edges here so let's take a look well will i need fillets yeah so on this edge that one this one and maybe that one radius might be five millimeter Okay, 
Okay. Now another fillet with three millimeter. Three. This edge, that edge, this one and that one. Please remember those are separate solids. Nice. Now another fillet, radius one millimeter on this edge. Now oh, I have to go for a chain. Sorry, let's deselect this one. Possible. Not really. Fillet edge. Radius should be one. And it should be a chain. So, yeah. Yes, I will see if I can do it all at once. I hope so. Enter, enter, great. Repeat. Again a chain. So let's take a look here, yeah. This edge, that edge. This one, that one, did I, that one, and uh, uh, I think that will not work, failure, okay, so let's try, let's try once more, let's select this one and that one, that should work, yeah. Then try this one, and that might not work, so I might have to change the radius a little bit. Yeah, that this didn't work. So let's go for a radius of, let's say, not 1, but 0 0.8. Or maybe I should fill it that one first. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Okay, repeat. Go for radius of one and okay nice so let's move over here and let's see if we can one 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 another fillet go for a chain go for radius of one yeah that's still there select that edge this one that one and the one down below this one and uh, great now i want to make a pattern with this one or i could try to mirror it but let's go we'll make a copy by rotating it yeah that would work as well so let's do it with a copy Go for home, rotate that object, that solid, right click, zero, zero is the base point and I need a copy and I want to turn it by 30 degrees. Repeat that command, select the body once more, base point again is zero, 0, and now it would be minus 30 degrees, but first go for a copy, minus 30 degrees, nice. Now let's make a union, go for solid, union, those bodies, right click, 
now I should be able to make fillets here and there so go for fillet and let's take a look it should be possible to fillet it with let's say three at least on the top side so go for I think that's not a chain no it's just radius let's say three select this edge, yeah, should work. That one, this one, and that one. Enter, enter. Does it work? Yes. Now on the other side. Repeat fillet, maybe radius should be 5. This edge, that edge, come on, please select it, yes. This edge and that edge, enter, enter, nice. Now I want to make a pattern. So let's see, go for home, go for polar array. I want to pattern this solid right here. Right click, center is zero, zero. And I want six instances on 360 degrees. Great close the array now let's make a union solid union I want to make a union with these and those enter takes a while but should work great very nice. Now let's go for another sketch on the XY plane here. So maybe I show my sketches layer and switch to the sketches layer. I need a circle at zero zero and the radius might be one let's take a look so i could go for maybe that's 71 40. no the radius is it's 70 radius let's make an extrude so switch to I will go for a different layer for this one just to make it visible let's go for an extrude this time it's not a surface but a solid extrude right click enter and let's go for 260 yeah looks okay now I want to have a chamfer edge. I want to chamfer this edge and distance. Is there an option? Specify distance or expression. Hmm. So let's go for. There is no two distances. That's sad. So I might do a revolve. Let's see. Let's go for 30. Or maybe minus 30. Is that possible? No, that's not possible. So I think I have to do it with a revolve and cut it off 
So let's hide that layer. And let's set. There's really no way. No, there is no way. So, yeah. Then I have to rotate around the x axis once more. But then I should be able to do a different chamfer edge. Let's see. So, if I rotate around the x axis. Or just go back to my world coordinate system. That's the idea. So select it, go here, and go back to your world coordinate system. And let's try a camphor edge with right click distance 30. No, it's still, it's just always in that direction. Specify distance. Oh, there are two distances. I've just noticed. So first one should be let's say fifteen. That's crazy. Cambridge. I want to go for distance. Okay, and first distance might be 15, second distance might be 30, and then select the edge and let's take a look. Yeah, that's, that's how it should look. Okay, let's show our... Yeah, this looks good. This looks really nice, yeah. Yeah. Now let's make a fillet. On this edge and maybe go for a radius of 5. Right on this one. Enter. Enter. Very nice. Now let's make a union and hide our sketches. So hide these sketches, yes, and make a an union, blue to the orange one, and enter. This looks pretty good. Let's see if we can do a fillet around those edges as well, and maybe here as well. So go for another fillet, and make it five again yes that's okay and try to go all around let's see if this oh sorry i have to go for a chain i forgot yeah could work maybe not five but three let's take a look maybe it works yeah really really great so turn it around Make a fillet here on the inside. Here. And go for a chain. Enter. Enter. Really nice. Now let's try to make. So maybe I forgot to make a fillet here. That's that's sad. That's really sad. So it will not go all around. Yeah, I forgot this edge. I could fillet it. Yeah. So I have to improvise a little bit. So this should be this one of course this one if I'm not quite able to select it let's try it and now I've got it ok 
Okay. I hope this helps to go all around, but I'm not quite sure because regarding fillets, AutoCAD is not the greatest. Let's see if this works. Seems it did. So let's try to fill it these and that might take a while for the edge let's go for a small one radius let's say two go for a chain select this edge and yeah it works great can i do more than one yeah It's kind of hard to select. <laughs> yep. Maybe let's do some and then some more. And maybe all together. Okay, let's try a preview. And confirm. Nice. Really nice. Okay, what's missing? Just I want to remove a cylinder there. So I could go for a cylinder in this case. Go for a cylinder. Center should be at zero zero. Uh, but of course, I have to rotate my axis system around the x axis 90 degrees, and then I could go for my cylinder. Yeah, I'll go for a cylinder at zero zero. And the radius might be 30 and the length maybe 350. Okay, and now remove. So go for subtract from this body, right click that body, enter. Great, and I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you i want to go get more likes and subscriptions over there as well so thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye